Hello, I am Zi Yuan, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to expose multiple Kubernetes services using ingress resource type in Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service. Let's get started. In Kubernetes, ingress is an API object that provides a collection of routing rules that govern how external or internal users access Kubernetes services running in a cluster. Ingress is not a service type, but it acts as an entry point for your cluster. Ingress lets you consolidate your routing rules into a single resource, as it can expose multiple services under the same endpoint. The Ingress resource supports the following features. Host-based routing, for example, routing request with the host header food.example.com to one group of services and the host header bar.example.com to another group. Path-based routing, for example, routing request with the URI that starts with slash service A to Kubernetes service A and the request with the URI that starts with slash service B to Kubernetes service B. TLS SSL termination for each host name, such as foo.example.com. Ingress is always implemented by a third-party proxy. These implementations are known as ingress controllers. An ingress controller is responsible for reading the ingress resource information and processing that data. An ingress controller is a daemon set or deployment deployed as a Kubernetes port that watches the endpoint of the API server for updates to the ingress resource. Its job is to satisfy requests for ingresses. The Nginx ingress controller is one such implementation. In this video, I will be using the Nginx ingress controller from the Nginx Inc. organization. There is another Nginx based ingress controller also available for public use from the Kubernetes organization. For more information about comparison of this tool, see the link provided in the article. Open a terminal assuming that your EKS cluster is up and running, and note that Kubto is already installed. Run this command to download the Nginx ingress controller for Kubernetes. Go to the directory for deploying the ingress controller. All the commands in the following steps are running from this deployment directory. Create a dedicated namespace, service account, and TLS certificate with a key for the services. Note that you can use the self site TLS certificate and private key that are generated for testing purposes. It's a best practice to use your own certificate and key for production environments. Create a config map for customizing the Nginx configuration. Config map resources allows you to customize or fine-tune Nginx behavior. For example, set the number of worker processes or customize the SS log format or configure Nginx to use the proxy protocol. In Kubernetes, we deal with role-based access control ABAC to manage cluster permissions. This means that we must create a cluster role and then buy that cluster role to service account that we created in previous step. If your Kubernetes cluster version is greater than or equal to 1.18, then we must create an Nginx ingress class resource as well. The ingress class resource type was added in Kubernetes 1.18. This is generally used to reference the name of the ingress controller that should implement the ingress and is a replacement for the corresponding annotation kubernetes.io slash ingress.class in ingress resources. Now it's time to deploy the ingress controller port. Note that we can deploy an ingress controller with the deployment or daemon set option. The deployment option allows you to dynamically change the number of ingress controller replicas. The daemon set option allows you to deploy the ingress controller on every node or subset of nodes. In this demo, I will use deployment option. After the ingress controller is created, we can verify that the port is running. Then we must expose the ingress controller port through a Kubernetes service. We can use a service object with type no port or load balancer 
I will use the load balancer type. Let's make sure the service is running and an AWS ELB is provisioning. Note that Amazon EKS allocates a classic load balancer in TCP mode with the proxy protocol enabled to pass the client's information, that is, the IP address and the port. We must pass this proxy information to the ingress controller. To pass proxy information to the ingress controller, we must configure Nginx to use the proxy protocol. We will do this by modifying the config map resource that we created previously. Then we will update the config map resource. Now set up two microservices for testing purpose. In this case, I will create two HTTP services, one named HostName service and the other name Apache service. Both will respond to HTTP requests with some plain text. Both are exposed internally with Kubernetes as the default no port type. Implement ingress so that it interfaces with these two services using the load balancer provided by ingress controller Kubernetes service. The host based routing strategy is used to route traffic to respective service. Now that we are all set, we can test the ingress by access the DNS URL of the load balancer. This returns a 404. The Nginx ingress controller by default returns a not found page with a 404 status code for all the requests for domains where no ingress rules are defined. The ingress controller, based on the defined rules, doesn't divert traffic to the specified backend service unless the request matches with the configuration. Because the host field is configured for the ingress object, we must supply the host header of the request with the same host name. We can see that after added the host header, the ingress controller can redirect traffic to the backend config service as it matches the configuration defined in ingress. We can also divert traffic based on the path to add path based routing with ingress, do something similar to this. So now you know how to expose multiple Kubernetes services in Amazon EKS through the Nginx ingress controller. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>